Uh, my name is James Smith, and I, what I want to do today is to share a tiny bit about Japanese. I want to teach you guys a tiny bit about Japanese verbs. So when talking about Japanese verbs, we have to mention that there's three different kinds. We have Ichidan verbs, Godan verbs, and Irregular verbs. So we're going to go off with the smallest group. We're going to deal with Irregular verbs. And there's two Irregular verbs we're going to mention. And one is Kuru, which is to come and sudo, which is to do. And so those are the two irregular verbs we're actually going to mention. And that is all we're going to say about irregular verbs at the moment. The next one we're going to do is Ichidan verbs. Now, Ichidan and Godan are the two main classes. And for Ichidan, Ichidan verbs are the verbs that end in ERU or IRU, as in kaidu, kaidu, which is to change. And since it ends in ERU, as you can see, there is an Ichidan. And so is a word like Hashiru, which ends with IRU, which means to run. Alright, also, we have we have four examples of Ichidans today. The fourth one is Miru, which is to see. And the last one, alright, which is Taberu. And Taberu means to eat. And because these both end with ERU or IRU, we're going to classify them as Ichidan verbs. Alright, the last section of verbs, godon verbs. Godons do not end in ERU or IRU, some of them do, but these are every other verb that ends in U. So this is the godon stack. So the first word we have is nomu, which is to drink. And as you can see, it does not have an IRU or an ERU at the end, it just ends in U. Alright, so that is a godon verb, just like michibiku. Michibiku is to guide. Again, there is no ERU or IRU. Alright, next one is Iku. Alright, Iku, of course, ends in U. The words, the letters before it do not matter as long as they're not IRU or ERU. And the last one is Inoru. Inoru, of course, as you can see, is just like every other Godon verb, does not end in ERU or IRU. In fact, this one's ORU. Alright, and in order to pray. And so these are the three basic classifications of Japanese verbs. Alright? <sighs> now, now that we know what verbs are, we have to worry about changing them for grammar principles. So if you would like to say, please do this, or I want to do this, we have to change the verb um, and add it with a grammar principle. Just like in English, if you were to say, I want to run, if you take a look at the verb run, to run, there's also past tense forms like ran or ran, or like running, which is like you're doing it currently. And so Japanese is the same way. You have to change the verb for different tenses and things like that. And we will worry, worry about that on our next video. So thank you for tuning in. Check me out next time. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.